Following the attack, other area tow truck drivers are on high alert, especially during game weekends in T-Town. WVTM 13's Gladys Bautista joins us live after spending the day in Tuscaloosa. And Gladys, you rode along with the tow truck driver today. Yeah, good evening, Guy and Cherry. Situations like what happened when those truck drivers were assaulted over this past weekend is really the worst case scenario uh, for truck drivers that I spoke to today. We've obtained some numbers from the Tuscaloosa Police Department that show that the number of calls to police have gone up over the last several years overall. It's a much calmer day on the job Wednesday for Tuscaloosa tow truck drivers like Takari Woods. Doing the Alabama games throughout the season, we, it is kind of high alert because you never know what's going to happen. And on the road. When we go out to areas, we have to be aware of our surroundings at all times, from where we go in to when we come out. We went along with Bombardier tow truck driver Cliff Guerin as he picked up yet another vehicle, <laughs> saying safety is a constant concern. This job is a solo job, so we have to watch our own backs. But even that isn't always enough. We spoke to two drivers from Awesome Towing Company who were attacked Saturday night on A Day while towing several cars parked illegally from a Gray Street apartment complex in Tuscaloosa. Ziggy Spires is the company owner. My guys was pistol whipped, two of them went to the hospital. Uh, my driver Lee has a stage four concussion. My other driver has a severe concussion. Uh, I'm skin up. My other driver's got bruises, knots on his head. The other one's got a bruise or a knot on his head where he was hit with something. Lee Verrett says the assault was so brutal, he doesn't even remember getting pistol whipped. I just woke up covered in blood and asking questions. I lost a couple of teeth on this side. Uh, I got the mark right there. But while Wood says learning about the assault was shocking. Typically don't expect that on certain Alabama games, doing home games. Spires feels the crowds are getting more rowdy. It's getting worse towing on campus every year because everybody feels like they're entitled. They can do what they want to do. It's a day game or ball game weekend. They don't have to abide by the rules. Data from the Tuscaloosa Police Department shows the trends in the number of calls they've gotten over a day weekend in the last four years. While there were less calls in 2023 compared to 2022, the numbers are still higher than what they were in 2021. And this past weekend, there were nearly 40 more calls than this same a day game weekend last year, with one of those calls being for these now recovering tow truck drivers. They could easily shot us. But you know, I'm very thankful for that. While Garrett says he hopes to never be in that position. Typically our protection is. He wants the public to remember one thing. We're human just like the next person.